Hello dear students, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. In this video, we are going to solve two questions in which simple interest is given to us and we have to find compound interest. Now formula for simple interest is SI is equal to P into R into T upon 100 where SI stands for simple interest, P is the principal, R is the rate of interest per annum, T is the time period. Now to calculate compound interest, we have two methods. Either we can calculate amount first and then followed by compound interest formula or we can use compound interest formula directly. So the amount formula is A is equal to P into 1 plus R upon 100 whole raise to power N followed by compound interest formula that is CI is equal to A minus P where A is the amount and CI is the compound interest P is the principal or we can use the other formula of compound interest which is a direct formula that is CI is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power N minus 1. Now over here N stands for number of years. Now let's take a first question. The simple interest on a certain sum of money for two years at 5.5% per annum is rupees 6600. What will be the compound interest on that sum at the same rate for the same time period? So over here, simple interest on a certain sum of money is rupees 6600. That means simple interest is rupees 6600 on a certain sum of money that is our principal for two years, that is time period is two years and at five and a half percent per annum, that is the rate of interest. And we have to find the compound interest on the same sum of money on which the simple interest was rupees 6600. On the same sum, we have to now find compound interest at the same rate and for the same time period. So this is our question. Now let's start with the solution. So given to us is rupees 6600 as simple interest. Rate of interest is 5.5% per annum. That is 11 by 2% per annum and time period is two years and we have to find principal. So we shall now apply simple interest formula that is SI is equal to PRT upon 100 and we shall put the values. Simple interest is 6600 is equal to P that is principal into 11. 11 by 2 is the rate of interest so we shall write 11 by 2. 2 will come in the denominator and time period is 2 so we shall multiply by 2 and further we have to divide by 100. So we shall write uh, P into 11 into 2 upon 2 into 100. Now further, we shall cross multiply. So the next step will be P is equal to 6600 into 2 into 100 upon 11 into 2. We have just taken the numerator uh, to the denominator and denominator to the numerator. Now 2 and 2 will stand cancel. And after solving this, we shall get principal as rupees 60,000. Now, when we will get the sum of money, that is the principal rupees 60,000, we have to calculate the compound interest at the same rate and for the same time period. So, rate of interest is same, that is 5.5% per annum, which is 11 by 2% per annum. And time period is 2 years. Now, we shall apply the formula of compound interest. That is CI is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power N minus 1. Now we shall put the values. So 60,000 in bracket 1 plus now rate of interest is 11 by 2. So we shall write 11 by 2 into 100 whole raised to power 2 minus 1. Now let us solve the bracket first. So 1 plus 11 by 200 whole raised to power 2 minus 1. Further, we shall take LCM and we shall write 60,000 in bracket 211 upon 200 whole raised to power 2 minus 1. And further, when we'll take the square of these numbers, we will get 60,000 in bracket 44,521 upon 40,000 minus 1. Now we shall take LCM. So we shall write 60,000 in bracket 44,521 minus 40,000 upon 40,000. Now further we shall write 
sixty thousand in bracket. Now, when we'll subtract, we shall get four thousand five hundred twenty-one in the numerator upon forty thousand. Now we can simplify it by cancelling four zeros in the numerator with the four zeros in the denominator, and further we shall multiply six into four thousand five hundred twenty-one divided by four, and we will get rupees six thousand seven hundred eighty-one. 0.50 as the compound interest. So this is the compound interest that is rupees six thousand seven hundred eighty one point five zero, which we will get on the same sum of money that is principal rupees sixty thousand at the same rate for the same time period. Now let us move to second question. The simple interest on a certain sum of money for three years at five percent per annum is rupees five forty. What will be the compound interest on that sum at the same rate and for the same time period? So this question is also same as we did question number one. In this also we have been given the simple interest on a certain sum that is rupees five forty. The rate of interest is five percent per annum and time period is three years. And here also in this question we will find compound interest on the same sum. At the same rate and at the same time period, so rate of interest will be same. That is five percent per annum, and time period will also be same. That is three years. Now let us start with the solution. So given to us is simple interest rupees five forty. Rate of interest is five percent per annum. Time period is three years, and we shall find principal using simple interest formula. That is P R T upon hundred. Further, we shall put the values. So we shall write in next step five forty is equal to P that is principal into rate of interest that is five percent, and time period is three. So P into five into three upon hundred. Now we shall cross multiply and find the value of P. So P is equal to five forty into hundred upon five into three. Now when we will solve it, we'll get principal as rupees three thousand six hundred. Now once we get the principal three thousand six hundred. We will find the compound interest using the formula of compound interest at the same rate of percent that is five percent per annum, and time period is also same that is three years. Now we shall put the uh, values in this compound interest formula that is three thousand six hundred in bracket one plus five upon hundred whole raised to power three minus one. Now let us solve the bracket first. So one plus five by hundred will become. Hundred and five by hundred. We will take LCM. So we shall write three thousand six hundred in bracket hundred and five upon hundred, whole raised to power three minus one. Now further, when we'll simplify, uh, we will we can divide by five and we shall get three thousand six hundred in bracket twenty one by twenty, whole raised to power three minus one. Now further, when we we'll solve it, we'll write three thousand six hundred in bracket nine thousand. Two hundred sixty-one upon eight thousand minus one. Further, we shall take LCM and we shall write three thousand six hundred into nine thousand two hundred sixty-one minus eight thousand upon eight thousand. Now nine thousand two hundred sixty-one minus eight thousand is one thousand two hundred sixty-one. So we shall write three thousand six hundred into one thousand two hundred sixty-one upon eight thousand. And further, when we will simplify it. We shall get rupees five hundred sixty-seven point four five as the compound interest. So our answer, that is compound interest, is rupees five hundred sixty-seven point four five. So hope you have understood these two questions, where the simple interest was given to us, and we calculated the principal, that is the sum of money. Uh, using the formula of simple interest, and then afterwards, after getting the principal, we calculated compound interest. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you, everyone.